Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to find the limit of this rational function as x approaches 4. So if you plug in 4 right away, let's see what happens. We would get 4 squared minus 2 times 4 minus 8 over 4 minus 4 on the bottom, right? Yeah, putting a 4 where all the x's are. So this piece here, 4 squared, is 16. And this is negative 8 minus 8, so that's also minus uh, 16 over 0. So we get 0 over 0. So this is what's called an indeterminate form. Okay. So whenever you get something like this, you can use what's called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule says that whenever you have something like 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity and you're taking a limit, all you do is take the derivative of the top piece and then take the derivative of the bottom piece. So let's do it that way first. So we have the limit as x approaches 4, so we still write the limit sign. All right, so now we apply L'Hopital's rule. So we take the derivative of the numerator. So it's a pretty easy derivative, right, just using the power rule. So it's 2x minus 2, right, the derivative of 2x is 2, and the derivative of 8 is 0, so that just goes away. And on the bottom, the derivative of x minus 4, well, that's just 1, right, the derivative of x is 1, so no problems there, and the derivative of 4 is 0. All right, let me just rewrite this one more time. This is the limit as x approaches 4 of, and let me put this in parentheses, 2x minus 2, just for clarity. All right, so now we can actually go ahead and plug in the 4. So if we replace all the x's with 4's now, we drop the limit sign, so we get 2 times 4 minus 2. So 2 times 4 is 8, so you get 8 minus 2, so the answer is equal to 6. All right, so that's it. Now, there's another way to do this. Let's say that you did not know L'Hopital's rule, right? Let's just say you don't know that or you have it and you can't use it for whatever reason. Like, say you're taking, like, a math class or something. Um, so let's take the limit as x approaches 4 another way. The numerator, I believe, factors. I haven't done it yet. Let's try to factor it. It probably will. Um, let's see. So the bottom is x minus 4. The top is going to look like this. We need two numbers that multiply to negative 8 and add to negative 2. So I think 4 times 2 is 8. Yep. And I think the 4 has to be negative, right? Because when you add it to the 2, um, they have to give you the middle term, negative 2, right? Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Yep. Oh, look at that. They cancel. So this is the limit. It worked as x approaches 4 of x plus 2. All right, so now we're in a good place. Right now we can plug in the 4. So you plug in the 4, drop the limit sign, so you get 4 plus 2. And so that's equal to 6. So two different ways to do it, right? You can do it with algebra, or you can do it using what's called L'Hopital's rules. So I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who is learning about calculus and limits. That's it.